Thanks for clicking on my video. Before we get started, please click the subscribe button so that you can get more great content such as this one. Thanks. Welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tony Coleman. And today I am going to show you how you can uh, use internet connection sharing in Windows 10 to connect a cell phone, tethering it to a laptop and then feeding it back to a home router. Uh, many people ask why you would do this, and um, it is a use case specific um, situation that you would do it. Um, there are a lot of routers that you could plug a cell phone directly into using the USB port on it and just tethering straight to the router. Um, but not all routers have USB ports, let alone capabilities of the tethering like that. Um, a lot of cheap routers especially um, don't have that capability so this is one way you can basically feed your whole home off of your cell phone uh, it comes in handy if you ever need another ip address uh, for various activities uh, especially for beer money if uh, you are in this community so um, if you have any questions on why I do it the way I did or whatnot, feel free to put those in the comment section down below. Just keep in mind that there are several different ways to utilize a home cell phone service and feed it back to other devices. This is only one option and it is one option that I use because of my use case situation. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing you're going to do Make sure your laptop or your computer is turned on. You'll want to connect your ethernet cable into your network adapter. Mine is on a docking station, so that's why it looks the way it is. And then it goes back to my router and it's in the WAN, the WAN port. The reason you put it in the WAN port is because your laptop or PC is basically going to become the internet modem to the router. Now on your phone this is a ZTE Blade A3 Prime phone from Visible Wireless. They have unlimited hotspotting and so what you need to do is go into settings here at the top network and internet hotspot and tethering and you want to turn on USB tethering. Okay, so when you do that, it's now detecting as a new network. Yes. Okay, so here in the bottom right hand corner, we now have network connectivity and internet. So, what we want to do is share this internet connection, since I can show you I have internet on here. I'll open up Edge and I'll do it fresh so that it doesn't have any cached pages. Yeah, we don't care if there's updates or anything new. I can type one handed here. and we have internet. Now, it's not feeding internet back to our router yet. It's just on this laptop. To get it to feed the internet back to the router, you wanna come down to the corner here and right click on your network connection and select open network and internet settings. From here, you wanna go over to ethernet, select it, and then on the right, Go to change adapter options. And then you will see your network connections here. First one I have Bluetooth. I have an ethernet that, that is connected to the router. That was just TeamViewer's VPN adapter. And then there's this one right here. That is the one going back to my phone. And then of course you have the Wi-Fi adapter which isn't currently connected for specifically making sure it doesn't interfere with this tutorial. So you right click on the phone's connection and hit properties. 
at the top, you want to hit sharing. Check the box that says allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. And then here you have to choose the port that you're sharing that connection with. So in this case, we're sharing it with ethernet, which is not numbered because it's the default ethernet. And that's the one that's going back to our router. And then leave this checked for allow other network users to control or disable a shared internet connection. That is fine. You can disable it if you want. There's really not a whole lot of reason to mess with it. But hit OK. And that's all you got to do. You may, you may, in some cases, have to restart your router to get new settings. We can do that. Just turn the power off. Turn it back on. And let it boot up. From there, you can attach other network devices wirelessly or through your hardline connections. And that's it. That's how you share your internet connection from your phone through your laptop back to a router using internet connection sharing under Microsoft Windows. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section down below. I'd be happy to uh, explain why this works the way it does or maybe uh, give some more insight or even possibly give you other options. Um, I do not have uh, a step-by-step -step for every router or switch, so uh, you may have to do some Googling, but I'd be more than happy to discuss these with you. So, simple enough. And you can continue using the internet on your router as well. Letting both of those load it up. And I'm just showing you that it is indeed working. So now all we have to do is connect a, another device through the Wi-Fi and it should work. So that's it. All right, so back here on the laptop I'm recording this on. I have connected to the router that is using that internet connection. See, it is loading here. Got internet. You can see that it's saying it's through Verizon, which is what Visible does. Go. Now, some people on my videos, especially on the ones that talk about Visible, will talk about um, changing your TLS settings so that you can get faster speeds. Um, yes, they throttle the five meg. Um, yes, I have adjusted some TLS on a few systems. Um, it doesn't always work. And even uh, some of the times when it does work, um, Visible is really bad about throttling even your primary device's speeds quite a bit as well. So there are times that my phone itself won't even get five meg speeds in my area. So there are times that I've only got one or two megabit speeds because they're throttling so bad. So I want you to understand that just because there are ways to trick the system to try to get full speeds, it's not necessarily going to pan out the way you want because um, even primary devices get throttled heavily at times. Yes, there's times that I can see my speeds go all the way up to 35, 50 meg per second. Most of the time, especially during daylight hours, I will only see anywhere from one to five meg, even without tethering on a hotspot. So, but in this case, for this video, uh, Visible did well. You can see I'm getting 11 megabit per second. No, I'm not going to tell you about the TLS stuff. You can uh, Google all that. Um, I'm, I'm not going to encourage that behavior, but uh, 
for demonstration purposes, that's all it is. I'm on a Wi-Fi connection back to the router that's in my office. Um, I'm streaming this across my house and I'm upstairs. My office is downstairs, pretty much as far apart as you can get in my home. So, uh, and, and it's working that well. So if uh, you have any other questions, I do uh, do this quite a bit for beer money. Um, I, I want to explain that the reason I have a another router hooked up to a cell phone when I don't need to is because after a while you can uh, saturate your Wi-Fi connections pretty heavily. And by having multiple routers, I can essentially have double, triple, quadruple the, the Wi-Fi bandwidth available to me for the different uh, things I do. And so uh, since I had cheap routers from like free after mail-in rebate deals a few years ago, um, I figured why not go ahead and use them. And then I can also segregate some of my different earning stuff between IP addresses and and uh, separate them from each other entirely so that if say I was using bandwidth uh, apps that, that pay you for your bandwidth like Honeygain and such, they won't interfere with some of my other beer money applications because quite frankly, there are times that other applications detect the proxies or the VPNs and so on and so forth on the network and then they'll turn around and ban you even though it's not on the device you're using. It does happen, I've seen it happen. It's happened to me. So despite a lot of people want to champion some of those services, it happens. Uh, so this is a good way to isolate different apps between uh, different networks. You can also um, use this to get multiple IP addresses in your home if you don't want to go with the business line through your primary internet provider. Um, some people already have phone services that have unlimited. This is a good way to utilize that, that unlimited data without any extra costs. And so um, it, th this works for me because A, I already had hardware that I could do this with and B, doesn't increase my cost any. So I'm, I'm gonna utilize the services I have available to me, uh, especially since I already pay for the visible lines and I'm already use, using them for other earning opportunities as well. So um, if you want any more examples of when this would be a good setup, feel free to ask. Um, yes, I know that there are other solutions, other workarounds, different uh, ways to go, more expensive especially, um, but this is the one, one of the cheapest ways to do it and it's pretty easy and it, it doesn't require a whole lot of technical skill. So that's all I got for you today. Until next time, have a good one.